Yes, Julie. I've just got a question, really. Um, so barn has been making noises about Iran. Mm -hmm. uh, based on what, what you said, it, it kind of sounds quite a weak kind of threat, really. But I'm, I'm just wondering, because I mean, you might assume, based on the sort of previous history of Iraq, that they're kind of building up to, to kind of do the same thing in Iran. But um, based on what you've said, I'm, I'm sort of wondering if, if that's slightly different now, or if there's any chance of the question um, about Saudi Arabia, really. Where, where do you think they are? Okay. Um, I know earlier they obviously sent the troops into Bahrain, and that was a sign of, mm. that they were worried about spreading to them. Um, yeah, do, do you think they could be in for some real life people? Now, when you look at the, the, the Syrian revolution, you know, you, and it, um, you've got to say, you know, what a fantastically brave people. You know, the, you know, the revolutionaries are, that they've been fighting against, you know, Assad for a year, it's over a year now, I think, mm -hmm. and, you know, they've taken terrible casualties, but they, you know, they still carry on fighting. But now, you see that kind of the United Nations are getting involved in it, and, you know, you're telling the revolutionaries they've got to disarm, you know, in the face of the regime. Um, you know, what, what a terrible, you know, crime that is. So, you know, how, what can the how can the revolution go forward? How can that revolution win? Um, you know, the situation they find themselves now. Mm. The Palestinians, because uh, the Hamas, there's this kind of talk of unity in Palestine. Mm -hmm. I don't know how genuine that is, and what it represents in terms. Of, obviously, if it if there is a, a unity in Palestine, it makes the Israeli position even worse. I would have thought. You know. Um, but I'd like, if I may, to, to discuss um, Julie's thing, because I don't think the Americans uh, will attack Iran at this juncture. Um, well, first of all, there's the American election. I don't see any way that Obama will choose to fight a war and be seen to be in an aggressive position at that time, you know, so I think that we can discount that. The Israelis, I think even the Americans might put the Obviously, the rhetoric mm. is designed to try and drive Iran to the negotiating table. And of course, they are negotiating currently, but, but I, um, I think Iran knows essentially how weak that their position is at currently. Um, and of course, they realise what's happening in Afghanistan. They I mean, the whole, as you said, the the um, post-Vietnam <laughs> situation is, in a way, repeating itself. And uh, in a way, it's, it, it wouldn't make sense. They've got to try, as I think, the um, the the way that um, you know of trying to mould the the huge Arab Spring. And try to, in a way, not put the genie back in the bottle because I don't think they can manage that. But, but to manage it in a way that you know, so they what they can do about China. I think also they know that China is the big one for them. Um, so they need to build their fences in the Middle East to some extent because whoever you know they, they'll want to control the energy side and they want to they want to try and get in a partnership in a way to deny the Chinese uh, uh, trying to, and as you said, the, the, the Suez Canal as well. So, uh, 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 you know, you, you can see tensions coming between China in the future, um, especially when, for example, China, um, um, if you, you see sort of America sort of, and, 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 you know, the gradual position is the America is weakening and China is strengthening. So at some point, it's going to go over the top if, if things carry on as they are. Mm. Now, of course, you... China could have a, a recession, like, there's all sorts of things could happen to, to spoil that situation for them. But nevertheless, if things carry on, then um, the, the Americans uh, and the British, uh, 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 it's going to be a very different world, for example. You remember when I was talking about staying in Afghanistan for 30 years, 100 years? You know, it's not going to happen if, uh, um, unless it suits the Chinese, it won't happen because they'll. They'll, they'll get more aggressive as, as time goes on, they feel their strength. They'll get more, more, more aggressive toward, towards the US and, and to Britain. Or they'll, they'll, they'll want a place at the table, they want their place. And, that, and not only that, they're, they're currently trying to strengthen the, Ameri uh, the, the, the Chinese 
uh, currency to make it an international currency to displace the, the US dollar and the Americans like that as well. So all those things are happening and, and, and it's a real problem for, for, for um, a system.